calculators are fantastic things. Not the least of their peculiar attributes is the fact that they can show all the numbers there that we know up on a grid, and each one is based upon a particular pattern, rather like a figure eight. In fact, those numbers that we know are the Arabic numerals. The Roman ones are things like V, I, X, C, and so forth. We don't use those except on clock faces, usually. These are the Arabic ones. Well, why is it that they fit into that particular pattern? It's not so surprising if you think that instead of having to force the numbers into that pattern, really the numbers were probably based upon that pattern or something like it in the first place. We don't really know how Arabic numerals started, but it's thought they started like this, on a pattern much like that, a rectangle with diagonals. And if you imagine we can draw bits in there, we could get one, two, or very close to two, three, four would be that, and so forth. In fact, rather than drawing it like that, let's show you what they look like. Here's one, just the side of the rectangle. There's two, three, four is that peculiar triangle, still embodies the sort of four that we know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and naught. With that, you've got all of the Arabic numerals. Well, it's not a far step to go from that into this particular pattern of the eight that we know. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and all the numbers you want. So remember, when you look at the calculator, although it's a very modern piece of equipment, part of it, the display, was probably pioneered thousands of years ago by the Arabs.